Hey guys, welcome back to The Shallow Proclamation. My name is Paul and I'm joined by... Thomas. Good to have you with me again, Thomas. Uh, we've just oh, kind of logged you. back on, haven't we? Um, it's been a few days since we watched the first two episodes of Marco Polo, um, which, um, yeah, I don't know how you found it. It was, um, we, well, I know we, we thought it was a bit trickier, isn't it, doing it with the recons than uh, when there's no moving images, but we're going to give it a good go. First of all, it'd be great if you're watching, give us a like and subscribe. It's really good to see more people joining us on the channel and give us some comments as well. It's great to know what you think about stuff. Um, and these episodes, um, we're enjoying all those and responding to those, so do keep that coming. <laughs> I can just hear the, the stickiness of the risotto. Brilliant. Good stuff. <laughs> hey. Now, here we are. Here we are now. And we're off. We've overcome technical difficulties to oh, bring yeah. you this program tonight. <laughs> Thomas, you can't tell if it's choppy, can you? Anyway, like... here's water, Marco Polo. Oh yeah, this is where we got to last time. We left off him pouring out the water. Come for it. I can hear the crunching of your Bombay mix now. <laughs> this channel Perhaps should really be called ice. "Come and Have Dinner with Thomas right and Paul." <laughs> Again, this is like one of those ASMR videos, isn't it? Nice little Ken Burns there. <laughs> <laughs> It's funny, the characters, when you're used to watching them in black and white footage, they actually look a little bit different in colour photos. It's hard to explain, but it's like, they don't... Obviously their faces are the same shape and stuff, but... Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what it is. Yeah, I get what you mean. It's like you're not expecting to see the eye colour and hair colour and stuff. Yeah. What's he holding there? A tortilla. <laughs> it's pancake day. <laughs> this looks good, doesn't it? I don't think there's a, si a single episode so far where you haven't said, lovely set. I know. <laughs> but it's true. It is a, a great feature that's been present throughout Doctor Who. <laughs> that's a great frame. That's, that's isn't a great it? shot, isn't it? Yeah, this is quite well cut, actually. I mean, considering what he's working with, um, mm. it's a labour of love. I am surprised, though, that the this episode hasn't been animated because all the the trout and stuff is. So you'd sort of think someone would have, um, you know, this early episodes surely carry a lot of weight for Doctor Who fans and stuff. But I think particularly this would be the case. But I think the problem is money because right, yeah. Often the the animations of they started off at least being stories that would had a few episodes existing and were missing maybe a couple as well. So that way you only had to animate maybe two out of say six or something or whatever. Um, so obviously because this is a seven parter, it's missing entirely. You have to do everything. So, um, and actually, I mean, it's a real shame. But in the last month or so, they've been um, they announced that the animations were going to stop because I think there's some issue with money. So, um, oh, okay. But whether Doctor Who fans will sort of group together and try and crowdfund it, I don't know, or whether I. I have my suspicion that Doctor Who may kick off in the next year or so under our Russell T Davis, and um, more money may appear. So who knows? Yeah. I hope so, because it would be great to be in a place where actually everything is completely done. And if they did do this story, I reckon we could go back and we could actually watch it animated and we'd probably enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, I honestly think this is such a good time to be starting this channel, because it feels like there's a real buzz around Doctor Who at the moment. What cave? He forced me, my lord. He forced me. What cave? Did you put your name in the goblet of fire? <laughs> <laughs> Barbara! 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 <laughs> oh, that's quite scary. So she said they moved. They moved! There we A go. lot of early Doctor Who is the same name being shouted uh, repeatedly, isn't it? Susan! <laughs> Susan! <laughs> Susan! Susan! <laughs> Did it happen in the set? Didn't it happen in the Dalek story as well? I think with, it did. Um, Barbara going through the door and the door closing and they're like, Barbara! Oh yeah. They're coming for you, Barbara. Night of the Living Dead, I think that is. <laughs> oh yeah. Yeah. 
I know that because um, it, when I was at uni in Nottingham, there was a really um, cool um, bar called the Pit and Pendulum, and downstairs where the toilets were, the toilets were behind a bookcase, like through a secret door, and yeah. uh, my wife and a friend of hers went into the ladies, and apparently it just, while they're in the ladies, it just plays like spooky music, and they were just all sitting on the loo, and suddenly a voice just went, they're coming for you, Barbara. And that oh was like in the loo. Goodness. <laughs> That's terrifying. So we still reference that quite a lot. They're coming for you, Barbara. They're coming for <laughs> you. Um, <laughs> I would ask you, I mean, what did you think of that one? I mean, I feel I feel we're slightly relying on the synopsis to get us through this. It's interesting, like, the companions get separated every episode in some shape or form, so it's kind of interesting to see how they mm. divide that up. So here it was kind of the Doctor and Susan were together for most of it, weren't they? And But then Barbara was adrift. Yeah, no, it's all still good stuff. So I'm still enjoying it. So, yeah, should we just should we just crack through? Is that the easiest thing to do here? I think so. Great. Okay, yeah, guys. Well, fine. thanks for joining us for episode. What was that? Was that episode three? Episode three of Marco Polo. Um, give us a comment down below. Give us a like and a subscribe, and we'll be back for episode four next time. Take care. Bye bye. Mm-hmm.